Remember when Tiger King was huge, like six months ago? If that would have come out um, and been as big in non-quarantine times, I guarantee you how many like Steubenville hosts and presenters would have referenced Tiger King. So hey, all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. So, um, the movie Rudy is great. And I know, I'm throwing it way, way back there. I mean, that, that movie came out, I think I was in high school. This is early 90s. Here's the story. It's the story of Rudy Rudiger, or something like that. <laughs> I should look these things up. I'm just going it from memory. Who has, from a family that loves Notre Dame, and loves Notre Dame football more than anything. So Rudy is a football player. He wants to play at Notre Dame. And so, he enrolls in Notre Dame and he gets on, essentially works, 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 gets on their, I don't know what they call it, practice team. And he gets pummeled like every single day um, by the real team, but he's there to like take the hits and run plays with the real team that goes on the, on the field. And it's like years and years of this, like just getting beaten and beaten and beaten. And, um, but he doesn't give up. He doesn't, he doesn't quit. He keeps moving forward, keeps getting in the game. And then finally, I think it's the last game against Georgia Tech, remember? That the fact that I remember that is remarkable. Notre Dame's leading by a thousand points, and so they put Rudy in, and he gets a tackle, and it's like he gets carried off the field, and I'm going, Rudy, Rudy. I had a professor in college who was, he said he was at that game, and he said, yeah, we really che cheered Rudy, and I didn't know. I, I guess it's that guy number whatever down on the field. Anyways, the movie is like this triumph, uh, right? It's, it's one of those awesome triumph of the human spirit type movies where um, here, here's this guy, and he has this goal, and he doesn't give up. And he gets, everyone tells him, you gotta give up, you're too small, you're too whatever. And, and uh, he doesn't give up. And then he gets in, and he does the thing. Like, he gets in the game, and he does the thing. Gets in the game, and he gets the tackle. And it's just this, like, that's amazing. Um, and then I read a book, and I, I loved it too, I thought, this is fun. Then I read a book a couple years after that, that, that said, what a waste. <laughs> what a waste. Like, Rudy, you're clearly not built for football, for college football. You're clearly not fast enough for college football. You're clearly not strong enough for college football that no matter how hard you work, you're never going to be like a college football level player. Yes, you might get thrown in, that's the thing. You get you put in the last game where they're leading by a thousand points and you score one tackle. Was that all worth it? That's the big question. And I thought, oh my gosh, you just like shattered all my, that's right. Whoa, if he would have taken all that energy, all that drive, all that passion, all that determination and discipline and put it towards something that he was actually more naturally inclined to, like he could have been awesome rather than just getting in one play and making one tackle. The reason why I'm bringing this up is because someone asked me, um, this is more serious actually, someone asked me, they said, uh, Father, here's our situation, my situation and a close friend of mine. But my close friend wants to get pregnant and has been trying with her husband again and again and again and can't do it. Um, if you see, that's a turn, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go from like haha -ha to like depths, but it's how life is, right? And she said for, for her part, um, uh, the country in which she lives has a lot of violence and has a lot of uh, injustice and has a lot of um, like kidnapping in villages and towns and just like a really difficult place to live. And both of them were saying in their situations with like wanting to get pregnant, and, and just the other, like, just wanting to live peacefully, wanting to live freedom, wanting to, to live without this injustice. That's when is it okay to give up? Like, when is it, <laughs> again, serious, when is it okay to give up? Because we have this dream for a baby. Can I, can I hold on to that dream or do I need to give, up, give it up? I have this dream of a, a, a village or a town, a peaceful country. And you just give up that dream. When is it okay to give up? And I thought, that is an incredible question. The answer is, when, it, when is it okay to give up hope? Never. Never. It's never okay to give up hope. Again, okay, what is hope? Hope is trust in the Lord extended into the future. I may never give up hope. Ever, ever, ever. I know that he will always be with me. I know he will always be with you regardless of your circumstances, regardless of your situation. When is it okay to give up hope? Give up hope? Never. Uh, what about faith? Like trusting in the Lord. When is it okay to give up faith? Never. Never. Um, 
never okay to give up uh, faith. When is it okay to give up trying? Well, that's the question is trying what? When is it okay to give, give up living? Never. But when is it okay to give up on this piece, the outcome? When is it because the, the, the question is when is it okay to give up, give up on God or his promises? Never, ever, ever. Never. We'd never give up on God or his promises. But when is it okay to reevaluate the outcome that I want and say, I need to change my expectations, I need to change my, uh, my desire for this particular outcome? Well, the answer for that is when reality makes it obvious. One of the challenges of the Catholic Christians or any human being is recognizing that uh, we're called to acknowledge and accept the reality of the situations we're in. I don't mean that in a harsh way. Uh, the, reason, the reason why I started off with talking about Rudy is because what would have been helpful for him probably is to accept, acknowledge and accept the reality of the situation that he's in. Is that, okay, you're, you're not going to be a um, starter on the Notre Dame team. Notre Dame team. Um, the acknowledging and accepting the reality of life of this circumstance could be a yeah, If you're okay with uh, being you know, on the practice team and you're okay with maybe getting in one day, that's great, that's wonderful, but you have to acknowledge and accept reality about this. It's not giving up on dreams. That's acknowledging this is what I have to work with. And the same thing is true with some of those, those, those tragedies in a person's life where here I am, I wanted to get married and I, I, there's no one around or I wanted to have a child and, and we seem, can't seem to have a child or I wanted to do this for my life and I can't seem to do this or like I wanted to have a country that lived in peace and, there, and, I, and I don't have that right now. The question I always ask is, okay, let's acknowledge and, ex well, the thing is acknowledge and accept reality and then in the midst of that reality, now next, now is the next question, now what can I do with this? That's the big thing because you have agency. You have, I, no, I can't do everything but just because I can't do everything doesn't mean I can't do anything. And the same, I, the reality here is I, you have agency and so even though I can't get pregnant, I can do something. So what I have to do is this, or even though I, maybe I can't establish peace in my village or in my town or in my country, but I can do something. So the first thing we do is we acknowledge and accept reality and then in the midst of that say, okay God, now what do you want me to do? Okay God, now in this situation, in this current reality, in this present reality, what do you want me to do? What can I do? Because you have agency. And it might not turn out, it might not turn out the way you want it to turn out. And that's the thing is like, when can I give up the outcome? I don't know when you give up the outcome, but you can. When do I give up hope? When do I give up trying? When do I give up faith? Never. Because this is the lesson essentially of Rudy. Is if the outcome was I want to be in the, in the game, I'd say, well, that, you worked really hard for probably not the greatest goal. Or if you were to say my goal was to get on the start, starting lineup of the, of the team, like, well, maybe if you acknowledge and accept the reality, you would realize that that's not going to be necessarily something that happens. But people say, yeah, but all that work, all that discipline, all that, that time under tension, all that perseverance, like it forged something in him, like it changed him. And I say, yes, exactly. Because we realize that when we give up on particular outcomes, like it has to end up this way and start embracing the reality of but this action is doing something to me, then we've discovered the power of trying, the power of just not giving up, the power of saying I can give up the outcome but I'm going to persevere in the midst of reality. I'm going to acknowledge and accept reality and do what I can and even if I don't get the outcome that I want, what happens is in the process I have the possibility of becoming the kind of person that God wants me to be, the kind of person who can experience um, uh, pain, the person who can experience suffering, the person who can experience failure and not give up but becomes more humble and more hopeful, the kind of person who becomes more um, reliant on God and more confident in God. I might have to give up on the outcomes but you and I, we never give up acknowledging, accepting and acting in reality. Yeah. Rudy was a pretty good movie and I think that uh, what all those hits, all that trial, all that, all that stress did is it forged um, maybe a man of character and what's happening in your life with your disappointments, your heartbreaks, when you keep going 
it's forging a person of character. In fact, maybe even forging a person after God's own heart. For all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless.